Get that stuck on your lip, huh? <laughs> Put some blue growth on your tongue. Blue tongue. It's lark larkspur. after we had that uplift which created this high, gentle plateau. So about two million years ago, we entered a period of time that we call the Pleistocene. And the Pleistocene is this period of uh, climate change and cyclical uh, advance and retreat of glaciers and ice ages. So over the last two million years, we've had somewhere between six and 20 major glaciations of this part of the world. And I say somewhere Hello. between 6 and 20 because every time the glaciers advance, they can erase the evidence of the glaciers that were there before. So we know uh, of at least six, but we think there's probably a lot more times that these glaciers advance. And each time they did, they can erode a little bit more of the landscape. And so over two million years, we went from this high gentle plateau to these m impressive peaks and valleys that we're looking at here. And from here, we can see a number of really classic glacial features that are really evident everywhere in the park. And it's by seeing those glacial features that we know that the, these massive glaciers were here, even though we can't see them today. So um, from here, we can see the Grinnell Basin and this snow-covered hill right in the front of the basin at the, above the waterfall there was the moraine. Uh, just at the top of the waterfall, you see the snow coast, and there's kind of a little hill, and there's a glacier tucked in behind that hill. But that's uh, a feature that we call a moraine. So a moraine is all of the debris that a glacier uh, dumps off on its sides and its front. And so as a glacier is moving, it's constantly moving, and collecting dust and debris and rocks on top and from underneath, and then as it melts at the edges, it just dumps all of that material out, and it creates piles of rubble that we call moraines. And those moraines are really important for knowing how big the glaciers have been in the past. Um, the really massive valley glaciers have left moraines outside the park on the plains. And then these smaller glaciers that we have now have left small moraines uh, up in the basin near, near their edges where they are now. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of hard to get the perspective from here, but, uh, but essentially what we're looking at is that waterfall is coming off the base of this ridge with the moraine on top of it, and then in the back there's actually a bowl, and the glacier is sitting in the bottom of that bowl, and that bowl has a special name, it's called a cirque, and so glaciers at the, at the heads of a lot of the valleys here in the park, you find these cirque basins, and the glaciers carve those bowls at the heads of the valleys. Uh, and that's where the glaciers first grow. And then over time, they get bigger and they spill out of those holes, those cirques, and into the valleys. And as they do that, they carve the valleys into these wide, gentle valleys that we see. And we have a special name for the valleys here. They're called U-shaped valleys because they have really steep sides and gentle valley bottoms. And you can see, well, where can we see the U-shaped valley? kind of hard, if we could look back this way, we would see that the valley that we've been walking in is a really great U-shaped valley. Or if you visit the west side in, and visit Lake McDonald, Lake McDonald is in the bottom of a really uh, nicely formed U-shaped valley. You can pass it if you like. Whoa. 